The advice is not to load up a scenario where the bots are close to each other, but actually bots that are far away from each other. Why? If you take a look here, when the bots are close to each other, we can do an instant flick to land on the target. There is no need to adjust because of the easiness of the scenario. It's not pushing our need to adjust. It pushes how fast we can get to the target, which is why I say clustered scenarios are for speed and not adjust. It's a quick snap and you're already there. How does that help us or get us into the habit of adjusting? What we must do is take the opposite approach. Play wide wall scenarios. Look at how I flick here. Due to that distance, notice how I must turn my flick into two flicks. The initial flick and then that micro adjust. Because there's just no way I can consistently hit a ball that small from that far away. You're not struggling with micro adjustments if you're missing the shots when the targets are close to your crosshair. You're missing the speed to react to his sudden appearance. Which is why I harp on reflexes, information, and speed a lot for people who play tech FPSs. It's more likely you suck at static and the fields I mentioned if you consistently miss these types of shots. Which is what I'll get into next. Ask yourself. If the target is near my crosshair and I miss my shot, is it bad flicking lines or is it a lack of adjusting at all? What constitutes the need to adjust is flicking and then micro adjusting, as the word says, adjusting. The reason I'm positive most of you don't struggle with micro adjustments is because TAC FPS games require a lot of reflexes and proper clean lines to make those reactionary shots land all the time. The way you aim in these games are purely reactional. Think about most of your engagements. You peek and someone just appears. Meaning you see an enemy and try to snap onto him with a one clean line. Not two, but flicking to him as quickly as possible and clicking at the same time as you're flicking. That's how fast you're flicking. Purely reaction based. You see him and instant reaction with the mouse. How often do you flick, adjust and then click in game? Most engagements, you won't even have time for that. So is cleaner lines what you need or is it a lack of micro adjusting at all? Take a look at your VODs. When you're missing, specifically your first shot where it lands. In that initial flick, are you flicking and missing these pure reactive one line flicks? Or are you missing when you flick or adjust or perhaps you're not adjusting at all? If you consistently miss these shots where the enemy is close to your crosshair, what you need to do, number one, is work on poke ball. Get clean lines. Because you do react when the enemy is peeking you, you're just not reacting accurately. And poke ball specifically works to better these pure reactive flicks. Because it rewires your flicks to showing you the correct way of flicking. So when these fast peaks appear, you can purely react and not even think about micro adjustment because you don't have the time. If you, however, notice in your VODs you're flicking, and adjusting and still missing, and that's when you need to work on what I said, a wide wall. So if you're adjusting, work on wide wall static. And if you don't adjust at all, work on poke ball, clean lines. Probably you need to work on both, okay? The second thing I want to get into is actually target switching, which takes the same concept and applies speed to the whole thing. How? I'll tell you how. Imagine if you flick as fast as you can. Chances are you're gonna miss. That miss means you now must correct yourself. This constant need for correction will then lead into faster corrections. That is why I harp on people who play TAC FPS games on the importance of target switching. The reason we can't take this concept of pure speed and apply it into static is because you'll end up making your initial flick way too fast, which will lead to you constantly over flicking when the main point of static is to realize when you're on target and when you're not on target which will lead to you constantly over flicking when the main point of static is to realize when you need to click mouse one and when you need to chill. If you think that's confusing, think of it like this. Static is the confirmation signal your brain sends to your finger that now is the right time to click. Imagine if we exaggerate the speed of our initial flick every time in static, okay? That teaches our brain that I need to adjust every time before you can send the signal to my brain to click. But in target switching, no such signal must be sent because you're already holding mouse one the entire time. It's much more similar to our reactionary flick, the way poke ball works. I'll mention reflex scenarios briefly. These are super good because they're always punishing you for missing the shot. If you miss a shot in game and you die, that's a punishment. You miss a shot in Kovacs and nothing happens? 
when you then go into game and miss a shot, you'll be confused because that same punishment signal doesn't exist. You won't understand why you died in game when you don't get punished in your practice. So take your reflex scenarios into consideration because the bot disappears or is hidden to you when you miss a shot. Punishment shows your brain that this isn't acceptable and I gotta fix my shit, okay? So that's it. I really want feedback on this video. It explained things a lot more in depth. Tell me if it was confusing. Was it good info? Would you like even more explanations on the details, etc, etc. Done.